Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. My name is Dr. Ghost and today we are in the tier 5 new pan-European destroyer, the Stored, which is I believe a ship from the Nether, no no sorry, not the Netherlands Navy, but the Norwegian Navy if I'm not mistaken. Um, so yeah, pretty interesting little tier 5 destroyer as you guys can see it looks quite modern for a tier 5 destroyer and that's because this ship actually was a real thing it was a i believe a british destroyer that was uh, made in 1943 and was handed over to the norwegians um and they renamed it to the stored so pretty modern destroyer for tier 5 this ship was entered service in 1943 so quite a modern destroyer but just because it's modern in real life doesn't mean that it's so modern in game in terms of stats and whatnot i quite like this thing it's kind of fun i like it the guns are nice the torpedoes are a nice add-on i guess they're not anything special but they do the job just fine and overall i think this is a fun little tier 5 destroyer um and i've been enjoying it now in this game in particular we're not going to have a great game at all in terms of damage in fact it's going to be pretty bad but in the end, we're going to actually place pretty damn decently on the leaderboard, despite us not really doing a lot of damage. This game in particular is just going to be kind of all about, you know, it's just going to be funny. These guys are going to chase me around the map, and I'm just going to basically fire off salvo after salvo after salvo, and I'm going to literally be on no HP the whole time. I'm going to dodge shells and just make the enemy absolutely fucking despise me it's gonna be great so i hope you all do enjoy it now if you guys haven't noticed i have not been posting Torpedo's legends support. content that much and that's because i just have not been enjoying the game really that much that and i've been working and i've been doing things other than world of warships legends so my enjoyment and my dedication to this game just has not been fucking peak okay so bear with me but I'm getting back into the game kind of just playing around fucking around I try I try to get some recordings done here and there but um then again a lot of the time when I just hop on I'm hopping on for like 20 30 minutes at a time and then I get the hell off because usually the game is just like crazy bad for me like I just get the worst possible shit that could ever happen happen it's it's bad so <clears throat> I'm glad that I got a little bit of something something here now throughout the video if you guys hear me like you know clearing my voice like this <clears throat> or you know coughing or sniffling that's because i'm getting over a little bit of a cold so just bear with me i'm doing my best okay so you know don't go in the comments and hate or anything because you know anyway stored out here another stored and also we just hit a torpedo Torpedo's on that mayhem pretty funny but uh yeah notice that we've lost half of our health yeah but also notice the stored over there has lost like <laughs> half his health just just one salvo it's pretty it's pretty funny. Uh, and now the Mayhan lost more than half of his health because, well, he took a torpedo. So he's not having fun. He's turning away. We're going to cycle these little 120 uh, 20 millimeter guns. Now, let's talk a little bit about the guns on this destroyer. The guns are 120 millimeters, which is a little bit, you know, small, but on the average size for a tier 5 destroyer. But don't let that fool you. They actually do have a pretty damn good alpha strike of 1900 damage. So, also. They have a pretty good fire chance as well, 9%, which is 4% higher than most destroyers at tier 5. So these guns can do decent amounts of damage, and they can set decent amounts of fires. Again, fires are dependent on RNG, like 90% of the things in this game is dependent on RNG, so that's just something you gotta, you know, keep in mind, you know. Hey, if you get a little lucky, that's just a bonus. Depending on luck, yeah, that's basically what fire setting is. It's like, oh... I'm gonna try to go set fires, but at the end of the day, you're at the mercy of RNG Jesus, so just beware there. But uh, as you guys can see, we're up to 14,000 damage. Again, nothing impressive, right? I, like, your number one job as a destroyer is to one spot, but to number two, just get caps and contest caps, which is what we're gonna do. Now, notice pretty much our team on this side of the map has fucking failed. Absolute F for just failure for our team here on this flank. But we're not going to give up this side for free. We are going to do everything in our power to hold this flank for as long as humanly possible. We're going to send some torpedoes out here too. Again, I I'm absolutely abysmal at aiming torpedoes. 
but I do my best. I'm like, okay, looks like that dude's turning that way, so I'm just going to send some out that way. But the Ramad is actually going to turn a lot more than I thought he would, so he's actually, or I think he's going to turn a lot less than I thought he would, so he's going to actually end up dodging those torpedoes, unfortunately for us. But hey, what can you do? Boost deactivated. Um, notice also our health, 6666. Six, six, six. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta love that. That's pretty good, ain't it? But anyway... Um, we just got a enemy destroyer spotted. It's the enemy stored. He's on no health, so we're gonna quickly take him out. Just like so. That's our first kill of the game. We're gonna pop a smoke screen to hopefully go dark. For some fucking reason, it took us like a second or two longer for us to go dark. So we're gonna take a few bits of damage there. 1500 damage because our damn freaking concealment's being weird. The game was like, oh, we're gonna keep you spotted for a few seconds extra. It felt like a few seconds, but it was like more like two seconds. But still, two seconds is long enough to get someone's attention and get a shot off. Like that Ramat did. And, uh, yeah, we lost like 1500 HP because of that stupid two seconds. Like, that's a big deal. 1500 HP on a destroyer is big. That's 1500 more HP we could have had. But, uh, nonetheless, though, we're still just kind of, again, we're making it difficult for these guys. We're not giving up this flank for free. Yes, we are retreating, but we're also, at the same time, we are tactically retreating. We're popping off shots. We're making it difficult. We're sending out torpedoes, and we're doing the best we can with the limited amount of resources we have. Now, let's talk a little bit about the torpedoes. Speaking of, the torpedoes are, I believe, 500 millimeter torpedoes. They've got pretty low damage because they're pan-European. But they are fast, and they seem to have, um, uh, that's about it, really. They do low damage, they're fast, but they seem to have law, uh, less range than the regular pan-European line that we've already had in the game for about a year. So what I think these destroyers are going to be good at is more gun-focused builds, maybe. I haven't played the tier 6 or 7 yet, because I don't have them. But maybe I could be wrong, maybe they are torpedo boats. But let me know in the comments below if you guys have them. Or if you guys have been watching any Legends videos out there on the on these pan-European destroyers. But from what I can tell so far, with the Tier 5 and the Tier 4, these things seem to be pretty fun at gunboating. They don't seem to be worth at all building into torpedoes. It could just be me, but I can tell so far, from the, low, from the less range you get on the torpedoes and whatnot, these just don't seem like the viable uh, torpedo boat, you know, builds out there. I just don't see it being viable. If you're going to build these things for torpedo boats, you might as well go play the, the regular pan-European line. Because the regular pan-European line gets six torpedoes. For example, on the Vosteros, you get six torpedoes and you get 10 kilometer torpedoes. And I believe those same torpedoes are actually faster and they reload quicker. So why would you build these destroyers for torpedoes when it seems like to me they're going to be more gunboat focused? I don't know. Anyway. Speaking of guns, I forgot to mention that this ship only has high explosive. So does the Tier 4. I've played the Tier 4 as well. Uh, they seem to only have HE. That's a interesting thing. Again, you're going to mostly 90% of the time only be using HE. So it's not really that much of a big issue. But let's say, for example, if you're in low tier lobbies, especially if you get like Omaha's and shit going broadside to you... You lose that ability to actually citadel them, unfortunately. Like, I can't count how many times. Like, for example, in Farragut's and whatnot, I've just gone in, gotten close to people, and I end up just absolutely getting, like, 10 to 20 citadels off of cruisers because they forget that, hey, destroyers can load AP. That or they, that or they just don't know exactly what the fuck they're doing because it's Tier 4 and Tier 5, and people just seem to lack brain cells. So, a lot more anyway. It doesn't matter what tier you go to, to be honest. At the end of the day, you're going to find people that lack brain cells. It's just the way it is. Now, notice we're still retreating, but we're, again, we're making it difficult. We did get a reset on that Maya, so he's not getting the cap for free. We're going to shoot off another three shells at him, and we're going to reset that cap again. Again, we're not making it easy for these guys. We are trying to make life as difficult as humanly possible for the enemy team on this flank that seems to think that they can just push through here. No. We are the sword that holds the line as best we can. We're hoping to God that our fucking team on the other side of the map can can uh, do their job and do what they gotta do so they can come over and help me out. Now notice that my twist and track is pointing towards uh, my right side. The closest ship to me is an enemy destroyer. And that enemy destroyer is the Fubuki. There he is. Now, for whatever reason, that Fubuki is not using his guns. That's probably probably because he's trying to use his torpedoes. So, 
he is so tunnel visioned right now on his torpedo use that he forgets that he has six 127 millimeter guns which are fully capable of absolutely fucking me up but he just doesn't care he's like ah i don't care i'm just gonna send out my three racks of giant schlong torpedoes at this guy oh nope never mind he actually does finally use his guns he's like oh i got guns i'm gonna use them now you could have used them a lot sooner but hey whatever i'll take it right so as you guys can see these guns although they're not the greatest guns in the world he still has six of them, and they still do damage, and they still can fuck me up, like you guys can see there. But our guns can equally fuck him up, so we're just going to continue to just kind of pop shots off at him and hope that our RNG is good enough to where, we can, to where we can get some hits and whatnot on him, and hopefully finish him off. He's on not very much HP. If I had to guess, he's around 2,000 HP, and we're continuing to get some hits here and there, but unfortunately, we're just not getting the RNG to hit more than one shell to potentially get a fire or just outright finish him off now let's see what these guns do three shells there we only get one hit and it wasn't even any damage again all of our shells just seem to be straddling this guy oh there in the end there though we get three shell hits and an incapacitation is our final salvo gonna get him nope unfortunately not we left him on just enough to get away we're pulling straight up Spartan Elite 43 moves out here, leaving people on just enough to get away. You gotta love that, right? Jesus. But anyway, we're up to 35,100 damage. Again, nothing special. But sometimes, guys and gals out there, and whatever you may identify as in this world in 2024, damage isn't everything, right? Doing the best you can is everything, right? Getting caps, contesting them, doing whatever you can. Making life as difficult as possible for the enemy team is important, right? So yeah, we're not doing a lot in terms of damage, but we are doing a lot in terms of just making the enemy team, you know, struggle, right? We're trying to do the best we can and just, I guess, hold them off for as long as possible, <laughs> basically. Popping shots off whenever we can and whatnot to, you know, help our team and just reset caps and just whatever, right? Sometimes it's all you can do. Sometimes you just, you're forced to run away and retreat and tactically withdraw and just fucking just sail around and do the best you can right so anyway luckily our team seems to be pulling through on the opposite side they're coming in and they're absolutely cleaning house on the people that have been so focused on me and the uh, other guys uh, as well like that destroyer has been chasing around doing a bunch of nothing so you gotta love that and so far we have done pretty damn well We've contested the caps. We've gotten some. Uh, we've gotten some uh, cap defense ribbons there. We've got a torpedo hit, and we've got even a kill on that enemy stored. To be fair, though, we did kind of yoink it, but you take what you can get, right? And the only ships left now is that enemy destroyer, the Fubuki, and the other one that is left is a cruiser. I don't even know who it is, but uh, it doesn't matter because the game is about to end. 991 points out of 1,995 points. We just got another cap, and we just hit 1,000 points, and that is the end of the game. Again, it didn't seem like we did a lot, right? But in the end, we still did a lot. Like, we just did as best we could, and we still placed top. Like, we placed top, and also our controller is disconnecting a lot. I, I don't know what the hell was going on there, but, you know, Dr. Ghost Games, you can't have a Dr. Ghost Games video or stream without technical difficulties, but there you go. Not a bad game, though, in the stored. So far, kind of like them. They're fun. I haven't had any really shitty times in them, like, aside from me taking a random fucking torpedo. But, you know, what can you do, right? Shit happens. So, anyway, here's the commander we're running, Poseidon. But that's just the commander, guys. We're actually running, um, we're running Jersey Swirsky. Full-on gunboat build, as you guys can see. We've got uh, William Sims and Eric Bay as inspirations. Just a nice, fun gunboat build. But anyways, everybody, hope you all did enjoy today's video. If you guys did, be sure to go down there and hit the like button, hit the sub button, leave a comment, all the stuff. I do appreciate you all, and have a fantastic rest of your weeks. I will catch you all on the next one. Bye-bye.